Modern calligraphy uses more um, their like brush pens, like tumbo, and they are um, and it's the pressure that you use. So first off, we're going to go over some basics here on your paper. Um, we're going to be working between these three lines. The top line is called your cap line, um, which makes sense because when you make capital letters, the capital letters touch the cap line. The top line is the midline, so that's usually where your lowercase letters bump up to, or where your capital letters um, have their crossbar, like an H has a crossbar. Um, and then your baseline. And that is usually letters stay within the baseline, especially capital letters, but there are some letters that descend below the baseline. They are called descenders. So a Y is a descender, so is a D. And an ascending letter would be like a capital or a lowercase h. So usually those lowercase letters, they stay within the midline and the baseline, but sometimes they go above the base or the midline or like an L, okay? So that's important when we start to change up our lettering. So the first letter, first word we're gonna write is the word April. Jaden. Oh, Jaden, you can write. So if you don't wanna do April, you can write your own name. So we're just gonna print the word. Um, the reason I'm using the word April though is because, well one, that's the month we're in. And the other reason is because it has a lot of letters that go, that have descending and ascending letters. It's a good word to start out with. So we're just printing the word April. So sometimes if you're, you're not really confident in your, um, in your handwriting, if you can print it and then we're gonna, we're gonna pretend like it's cursive. So now we're gonna start hooking all of the letters together like if it were cursive. Okay, did you see that? I'll do it one more time. So I just printed the word April. And now I'm gonna hook it together. So I'm doing a swoop there, a swoop there, swoop there, and I'm giving it a tail at the end. So this is so this is faux callig calligraphy. That's what we're gonna start out with. And then we will um, move into a little bit more advanced. All right, so now we're gonna start adding our um, thick lines. So in calligraphy, when you have your brush, when you go up, when you're moving your brush up, your brush pen, then you do normal to light pressure. But when you're going down, you're going to do really heavy pressure. So we, we're gonna go through our word and we are going to think everywhere that I would have written downwards, I'm gonna add um, a thick line to it. So I would have gone downwards on this P and the R, and then I would have gone up, and then I would have gone down with my I and my L. So now I've made the word thicker and then I can fill it in. I can color it all the way in and I'm gonna do a little fancier crossbar on the A. Um, so I can fill it in all the way solid or I can do little stripes on the word. I could do little designs on the word. Um, so you can play with that and make it a little bit different. All right, so that's our first word. Our next word is, we're just gonna write the word April in cursive and we're just gonna um, do it so that it keeps the same baseline.
It so it has the same baseline. That's what I mean. So see how all of the letters they touch that baseline. Um, and then we can do the same thing. We can think everywhere I go down, I'm going to add a thicker line to it. All right. Hey, mom. Can yes. I have one of the goldfish things on the table? Yes, you can. Yay. All right. Now, this is where modern calligraphy gets really fun. So we're going to do a moving baseline this time. And we are going to make each about every other letter is going to go below the baseline. So watch this as I show you. So it's going to go below the baseline. Now the P naturally goes below the baseline anyways because it's a descending letter, but we're not counting that one. Okay, then our R is going to go below the baseline. Our I is going to stay where it's supposed to be. And then our L is going to go below the baseline. So see how each of these parts of the letter move below the baseline. So the P and the I stay on the baseline. The A, the R, and the L are moving. So that's why it's a moving baseline. Okay. And then you could add the, um, the same shadow. Okay. Sorry, I'm cruising along because it will kick us off. So I'm going to turn my iPad off and I'm going to um, show you some techniques with your markers now. So if you want to grab your markers now, so if you want to grab your markers, you can still use the same piece of paper. And we're still going to use the same principles. So you can use, um, you can use broad line markers like Crayola markers will work fine. Um, you can also use <laughs> Um, tumble pens. So like we talked about, when you are going up, you're going to use light pressure. And when you go down, you're going to use heavy pressure. And that's what makes um, the really pretty different letters. So take a pen or a marker, I mean, sorry. And we're just gonna do a couple of practice strokes. So, so we're gonna put heavy pressure on our marker and we're gonna go down with our marker. Just that, trying to get even pressure. Okay. And so you're just gonna start at the bottom and go up. This is normal to light pressure. So if you have a piece of paper, um, after we're done, since this is kind of going really fast, um, you can keep going and keep practicing this um, as you go. All right, so now we are going to practice changing direction. So one really important thing with um, modern calligraphy is you're going to write very slowly. You're going to lift your pen each time you change directions. I'm going to lift in the midline and then I'm going to reconnect and I'm gonna put heavy pressure down, okay? So this is one thing that is really good to practice. Maybe if you're just sitting watching TV or something and you're just gonna practice and you're gonna practice ending your stroke. In this example, I show you what not to do, which is to make a hook. So you wanna practice stopping and starting. So normal pressure going up, heavy pressure going down and make sure that you're stopping consistently then you're reconnecting normal pressure going up and heavy pressure going down okay all right another um one we're gonna practice is we're gonna go over 
So we're gonna go, we're curving it the opposite direction this time. So we're gonna go up and then we're gonna curve down. And this one we're disconnecting each time. So up and then curve down. So you'll notice that all of these strokes are in our natural strokes in the alphabet. Next, we will be practicing slanted lines going up with light pressure and then slanted lines going down with heavy pressure. For one second. Trade Okay. So. Okay. Okay. All right, so if we, so one of the hardest letters to do is um, a circle or an O, I guess. It's not a circle. <laughs> um, you're gonna do a capital. So you're gonna start at the cap line. You're gonna do heavy pressure going down. Then you're gonna lift your marker. You're gonna do one swoop going up, but we're actually going to change directions again. So it's going to actually do, it's going to be three separate strokes. Okay, so I did mess up a little bit here. I didn't curve it quite enough, so I'm just gonna go back and do that. So that when I connect this one going up, it actually touches and closes the O, okay? So you can practice that. Now, a really good way to start off practicing calligraphy is to write your word with pencil first. And then I'm gonna do my cursive April here. But I'm gonna give myself a little more space than I normally would have if I was just doing the April with normal cursive handwriting. Because I wanna give enough space for the thickness of the marker to and then um, these um, crossbars, you can get really fancy with. Um, that's kind of a fun thing. So you can add flourishes or swirls at the end there. Okay, so I wrote the word out with my pencil and now I'm going to go back over it with my marker. So. There is the word April. So, any questions so far? <laughs> I still can't get the thickness quite right. But it, just, it just takes a lot of practice. So just keep on practicing. Um, and doing it, so my lined paper is college ruled lined paper. It actually might be easier to do with um, wide ruled so that you have a little more space. It really depends on the marker that you're using. Once everything's dry, you can take an eraser and make sure you use a clean eraser. If you need to rub the eraser on the carpet to clean it dry, then you can erase your pencil marks. But it just keep on practicing. So we are going to do saying April showers bring May flowers. All right, so we're going to actually start with our um, cursive word and we're going to put it showers and do a moving baseline. Okay, so we have the word showers and we are going to write in um so we're doing script with showers and flowers and we're going to write in print april we're going to do it right above the word showers so, so now i'm working between this is my cap line for april and this is my baseline for april okay 
And I'm doing it all in capital letters. Okay. And then our middle word is bring. And then May. And now we're going to work between here and here to write the word flowers. Um, or S is a descending, so it is going to go below that baseline. The stories and flowers are obviously they rhyme, so want, and so they end with O W E R S. So I'm trying to actually line up my O W E R and S. Um, so I might, so now I need to change that L, which is why we do it in pencil first. And that's no big deal to erase. Now we are going to embellish our words with some graphics or images. We are going to do a cloud and raindrops for the April showers. And to balance it out on the other side, we're going to draw some spring flowers like tulips. A long... That. Okay, or long leaves, I mean. I don't know what this kind of flower is. <laughs> it's just a doodle, I guess. All right, so once you have that written out, um, then you can take a piece of cardstock or watercolor paper and you can um, go up to your window when it's daytime and you can, um, just use it like a light box so you can tape it to the window and then you can copy it onto your um, heavier paper that you want to make it um, be your real thing. All right, um, so, so this is actually pretty close together, this design is, so it'd be a little bit harder to do the thick, um, so you might, um, you might want to blow it up <laughs> a little bit. Um, or you can use, you could use your ruler on your blank paper and just give yourself guides of where to put the words on there. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more information or you have questions, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. And for future art tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. See you later.